Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolfocity and today we are going to be playing some wrench. Now we're going to do this front brake pad replacement. So we're going to go and check this out. Looks like we need to do both sides of the front. So we're going to we're going to start with this one and I'm pretty high up in the tiers and level. So we could do some of the higher end jobs. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get right into this front brake pad replacement. So this one should net us about $2,000 and 330 XP. Now during this, the course of this video, we're going to be using auto, auto unfasten and auto fasten just for the, the sake of speed. We're gonna get the front wheels off throw them around if we wanted now let's see here we'll I think we'll start with the driver's side I think that'll probably be a good good spot to start so let's go ahead and take off this just take the entire caliper off and then we will remove the caliper itself and then we'll be left with this part so what we want to do is we're going to want to take that off and take that off. We're going to want to take the shims off because we're going to need to save those. Raise that up a little bit. There we go. And then we need the hardware. So we're going to need four of each. I'm pretty sure. So if we take a look, yeah, we're going to need four of each. So we'll go ahead and add those to the cart. So three, four and one two three four we're gonna need four brake pads so we're gonna do one two three four so there's that i think we'll just go ahead and take the other side off while we're here since this is a pretty easy job to do i did not want to do that but this might be easier actually we want to make sure to take those shims off at the same time so we don't have to buy more because we don't need to buy them. So there's the caliper, that should be fine. Brake pads, we'll just chuck off to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my order through. Since I should have everything in the cart. So let's go grab our parts. And we need to put these in my tool belt. Let's go ahead and slap the, well, we can't slap those in yet. Getting a little little too far ahead of myself. We gotta put the shims on and then we have to put the hardware on. So I'm just gonna get the brake pads out of the box and get them ready to go before we actually start putting the stuff in. We don't wanna forget the hardware and end up failing the job. So we'll go ahead and get those in right now. So it should be opposite like that. And like that, all right, that's one side done. Let's get the other side done. We'll go ahead and slap our shims on the back sides of these brake pads and then go ahead and put them in. And then we will, we have to put the caliper over top and then replace the bolts. And then this whole assembly will go back on and goes on this side. Then we have to put our caliper mounting bolts back on and then our wheel and then our lug nut. So we'll do that. Now we will get our shims on this side and put our brake pads back in before we put the caliper on. Otherwise we will have a bad time. So do that and that. Put the caliper mounting bolts, or not the, the caliper guide pins back on. Put the wheel back on. And that's the job right there. So we'll go ahead and go that's that was what I wanted right there. Submit. Yes. Yes. 100% complete. The torque quality is going to be a D rating since we did auto unfasten and fasten. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to do it by hand, but we can do it. If that's something that you guys want to see in the future, go ahead and hit, put it in the comments down below. We can do a complete manual, manual torquing and everything. So it looks like we did not get any new stuff yet but we did get two grand. 
I think we'll do another simple one. We'll just do the transmission gear oil change. We'll go ahead with that. So let's get this baby up in the air. And let's see if I have any gear oil. All right. So we'll take our fill bolt out. I'm going to clear my hot bar. Forgot to do that. We're going to take our hose and shove that into the fill hole right there. And we're going to go ahead and stand this up just because it's going to bother me. Start pumping that. Actually, I think we were supposed to, we're supposed to drain it, so don't don't listen to me. I forgot to take the the drain bolt out. And you know what? We can put the pan under there. We'll go ahead and put the put the pan under there. All right. It has finished draining, so now we will put, now we will put our tube in there and start filling our transmission oil. Let's just let it auto pump until it starts spewing out the side. Looks like we ran out of fluid in this, so we'll go ahead and chuck that into our garbage bin, which it made it sweet. Grab another bottle. I think this one might be a little bit low too, so. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll go ahead and slap this in there. You do basically, you just got to fill this thing until it's full. You just... Oh, all right, cool. This one's not even... doesn't even have any fluid in it. All right, we'll go ahead and try this one. Hopefully we don't have to buy any. I don't want to have to buy any. Yeah, go ahead and put that in there. There we go. Go ahead and pump it up a little more. Really? We ran out. Okay. I see how this is going to go. It won't take that much. Turn the lever. I guess not. There we go. Not spewing out yet. There we go. It's spewing. It is full now, so we can put our fill bolt back in and just set that to the side and then boom, we are done with this one. Torque quality F. But we got it. That one's done. So there is performance is a little less, but four hundred and twenty five dollars is what we got for that one. I forgot what it said or a little bonus was. No new stuff. All right. Well, that's basically going to do it for the first episode of Wrench. If you guys are interested in seeing more, again, go ahead and hit the like button down below. It really helps let me know what you guys want to see. In the next one, we could probably do a, a, a bottom end rebuild on an engine. Or we can do something a little more advanced i can i can buy a car and we can rebuild the engine but i think i think what we would do is we could start with the bottom end rebuild on the engine and we can start with that that one's a little more in depth and it'll take a little bit more time so i just wanted to show off this game to you guys in case people haven't seen it yet i've been playing this one in the background for a little little while i've had this game for a couple months now i've done uh, two complete rebuilds on some cars that was really fun i enjoyed doing it so i figured i would uh, share the game with you guys and see how you liked it so thank you guys for watching again 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 i'm gonna let you know if you guys liked the video please hit like that lets me know that you want to see more and it also lets youtube that you want it lets youtube know that you want to see more as well hit the subscribe button if you're interested in this type of content and i will see you guys next time till then don't forget to join the pack.